Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to announce something that we're going to do a little bit different here. What we're going to do, uh, because I get this question a lot, how much does this build cost? How much does this cost? Well, the truth is that it changes. Um, for your car, you might already have an intake. You might already have an exhaust. You might already have this, that, the other thing. Uh, and time changes. So the cost of the parts change, labor rate changes. Um, sometimes there's a better way to do things. Sometimes like there's there's a lot of variables in how much does this cost per car. But what I'm going to do now is uh, for the videos going forward, whenever we have a uh, um, a part that uh, is going on a car that's kind of like the featured part, we're going to include that in the description, and uh, we'll have a link to wherever you can get it from. A lot of the times, if not most of the times, you're going to be able to get it right from our online store, CSPRacing.com. Um, but if we don't, we're still going to find you the link. So if it's even a competitor's uh, camshaft or something like that, we will include a link. That way you guys can start pricing things out. Our labor rate uh, is listed on our website. It could change, so I'm not going to say the labor rate. But with that said, we're going to get right into the video and we're going to pick up where we left off in the last uh, video with the green Camaro uh, getting some modifications to it. So let's get to it and get tearing this thing apart for that big package. What's up, Mike? What's going on with this beauty? Um, this is going to be a pretty big build. Uh, getting advanced induction heads, uh, MSD intake manifolds, uh, diamond drop-in pistons. Uh, customers are going to get getting ready for boost later, next next round. And um, bigger camshaft. It's got a cam in it, but we're going a little bit bigger. And uh, it's getting an FTI torque converter. Oh, and the 85 yeah, it's a, it's a big one. So I'm just working right now. Um, getting ready, gonna pull the pull the heads, and then I'm gonna pull the motor, and then I'll uh, do the pistons out of the car. And uh, while everything's out, put the torque converter in. Yeah, it's nice. a big one. <laughs> Love this color. Yeah, great color. Got going over here. Hey. There's one. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you ever put my motor, man? Everybody didn't know, on LT, all of the head bolts are the same, same length, top and bottom, except this first one over on the driver's side. It's actually a big Allen. You can kind of see it. It's, a, it's black, so it's kind of hard to see. But it's a big Allen and it's a short bolt. Yeah. yeah. Dang it, GM. Yeah, I know. Like, let's just pick an Allen bolt. Let's just put an Allen bolt in the engine. Yeah. I don't know if this was, like, left over. It's a short bolt. They were like, yeah, let's just throw this Allen in there. Sure. Like, we don't have enough bolts. So, uh, like, the first guy that put it together, he's like, crap, I don't have enough head bolts. 
Well, they're laying around at the same size. That's what I feel like they did. The oil pan. There she be. So you gonna start taking pistons out then? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna pull the front cover off still and uh, front cover and balancer. And then, yeah, I'll start uh, pulling each piston, piston rod assembly, and then replacing just the, just the pistons themselves with the diamond, diamond drop-in pistons designed to work on the stock rods, no balancing or anything needed. Yep, slow and steady. Gotta make sure everything's right. Definitely how you want to spend your Monday. Eh, it's kind of relaxing. Always try to tighten it uniform, just so you don't side load the bearing or anything. And then the last, the final stage is a, it's actually a torque angle. 85, 85 degrees. What's next? Uh, everything. No. <laughs> um, I'm going to get the engine bolted, then I'm going to swap the converter, 
put the converter in. And I put the trains in. Awesome. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed part two of Project Monster. In this video, we uh, took out the engine, we installed diamond pistons, the uh, Texas Speed Stage 3 VVT Gen 5 camshaft, that's a mouthful, and uh, uh, we also used the ARP head studs and uh, advanced induction heads. You can find links to all this stuff in the description below, as I said earlier in the video, and uh, well, I want you to stay tuned, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell wherever it is, it's somewhere down here, I don't know, and uh, make sure that you're ready to watch because we got the FTI converter, the MSD intake manifold, the startup, the sound, all that fun stuff, and the tuning with the numbers. So that's coming up for part three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the flip side. Somebody in the last video said they wanted this, so here's a clear view from China. No link.